thank you, thank you everyone for um, all of your support, all of your help, everything. I'm going to load there in. There was no audio. Do you want to just ask people? So Greg said there was no audio, but hopefully you can now hear us. Um, but you can let us know if you can now hear us. So leave us a comment if you can hear. Looks like they can hear us now. Can so hear us now. I think so. Okay. Uh, Mama Marshall says here it is. So I'm hoping that means that she's got some sounds. So um, I'll just wait for someone else to come in and then I will, uh, I'll say all of that again. Perfect. You can hear us. Okay, so welcome to Headshot Carlo. Happy Saturday. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Hope you've had a safe and healthy week. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for all of your support, whether you click on a link, whether you buy something through one of our links, watch a video, leave us a comment, thumbs up, visit thehedgehogholo.com, sign up for our newsletter. All of those things really help and they make a big difference. And we're trying to still serve you with the best quality content we can, uh, lots of ideas and inspiration. Greg and I have got some fun things in the works together as well as he's you know, obviously working from home. I was talking about how our um, eldest daughter, she is immunocompromised, uh, she has arthritis, so we have to be super careful, just like many, many of you as well. So we really do understand how hard it is, and we're just trying to keep going as well. So thank you everybody for all of your support, all of your help, everything. Um, we really do appreciate every single one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we will just keep plowing along and doing some fun things as well. So welcome everybody. I hope you're having a great Saturday. I'm back here with Storage Saturday. Uh, Greg is here as well. Um, and I want you to give you my top three tips for organizing your craft room because not about you, but I have quite a lot of time right now to be organizing and tidying my craft stash. Probably been organizing it more than I've been using it but I do love to do some organizing. So I wanted to talk to you about whether you have a big craft room, whether you just have a little craft cart, whether you have a corner. Um, I wanted to give you my top three tips for getting that straight during quarantine so that you can craft away and have some fun as well. And if you want inspiration, we are doing, of course, our daily videos. You can also go to thehedgehoghollow.com and sign up for our newsletter. We're sending out a daily email. It's got some kind of fun, like, you know, people's day of the birthdays, fun days that are going on, special offers in there. Um, and then we've been adding some videos. So it'll be that video of that day, but then some older videos that maybe if you're a newer subscriber, you haven't seen or some ideas you could try out while you've got some time at home. So do hop on over to thehedgehoghollow.com. Our design team post daily tutorials on there as well. So things that aren't on our channel right here will be on the blog. So you can subscribe to those as well. And you know, follow along some different tutorials and some different content. So go to thehedgehoghollow.com. As I say, every click, every comment, every like, every watch, it really does make a difference to us. And we love to hear from you, see you, all those things. And you can join our Facebook groups too. You can go to facebook.com slash thehedgehoghollow. We have Stamping with the Hedgehog Hollow. We have something for our subscription box members. Uh, we have our perks community. So there are lots of ways to get involved, chat more, find out more, all of those kinds of fun things. And also thank you to all of those of you who have tried tried out iron on ink so far. We'll be doing another project tomorrow with iron on ink. Um, it's so much fun to do and I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a regular iron. I just got my iron out the cupboard. You, Greg is quite surprised we even own an iron because I don't think he's ever seen me use it. Have you, Greg? No, nope. never seen it used. He's never seen me use it. Other than for various bits of crafting and stuff. Other it's than so. Iron. It's a craft iron, but it technically is a home iron. So I have my iron out. I'm going to show you how to use it with your iron because I had lots of questions about that as well. So uh, let's talk about storage. So my number one tip with storage is don't be afraid to change things. So Greg will know, will tell you that just because something worked for me before Christmas doesn't mean it works for me now. Maybe my style of crafting has changed. Maybe um, the way I want to do things has changed. Maybe the way I work or maybe products have evolved. Maybe something new has come out or I don't use something anymore. So my number one tip is don't be afraid to change it. So if you have this amazing chest of stuff that you're like, uh, this doesn't really work for me anymore. Reevaluate. Maybe you need smaller boxes inside of that chest. Maybe that chest is better for your pens and pencils than it was for your paper. Um, so my number one thing is just reevaluate and look at the storage you have got because quite often I just switch things around. So I might move my paper pads from one thing and then put something else in there, um, which is what I did recently. I took my paper pads out where it is and I have a new one that I'm going to share with you today from a goodie box that I got from Deflecto. So I was really, really lucky to get that from them. And it's a good time to uh, get some storage things. So I'm gonna show you some of those too. Um, so that is my tip number one. Tip number two is to label everything. 
Okay, this is a Greg tip, and I have to admit that he is right, and he looks really snug, and I'm getting the Greg dance, which is flippin' hilarious. I wish you would turn the camera around so you could see what he was no, doing. No, turn the camera anywhere. <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> if you could see that reflection in my glasses, it was worth looking for. So, um, so yeah, talking about labeling everything. So this is one of those totes I got from Deflector. This was a new release. I showed it to you at Creativation. And um, when they sent it to me, I was looking at what way I wanted to use it. And I have like in-depth videos and things coming up for it, but it's really nice because you unclip both sides and this piece lifts out. And this piece here has these little tabs in the top. So this lifts out, it's got lots of little compartments in it, which I really, really like. Um, so that's in there. I'm gonna take this out. And it also has a ruler along the top here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there is a ruler along the top here, which I find really handy when I'm crafting and things. There's also like this little pull out tray, which got stuck in my lid. So inside, when you open it up, it has a little tray. So I have a pair of paper scissors, paper scissors, Greg, paper scissors. What? We don't use them for anything else. We have to train them. Uh, Greg is well trained on the fact that he does not touch my scissors. Do you, dear? I'm well trained in the fact that I make sure that you don't know when I touch your scissors. Great. Uh, the kids' scissors, so Maddie's scissors are in here for her to use. I have a little uh, tape runner just in case. And then I have a mini rotary cutter that I use just for paper. So this is my little paper tool kit. And then I found out that my paper pads, my six by six paper pads, fit really nicely in here. And I have a lot of them. So this is really nice. And I like the fact that, I'll show you in a second when I put the handle on, it's easy to carry around. So if I want to bring it up and down to the basement studio, I can just like flick through. So I have in here, like my Merry and Bright from Tonic. I have some Lawn Fawn ones. Everything just fits in there. It stacks. My little tool kit goes on the top. And then I take this and I put it on the top. And clip these on. And these are really sturdy. So this is heavy, like two hands kind of heavy. But you know, you can do that. And then I just use my Cricut Joy to add some vinyl on the side, which is an upcoming tutorial. We've already filmed it of how to kind of label your storage and things to really customize it for yourself. So that's on there as well. Um, I'm just kind of having a look. Uh, hi everyone, welcome. Lots of you joining us, lots of our members joining us as well. So welcome everybody um, to our storage Saturday tips. So step number one is don't be afraid to change. Number two is label everything. And number three is really to reevaluate how you store things. So for instance, I have all my paintbrushes upstairs in a drawer, but that doesn't really work down here in the studio. So I took my ones that I tend to use in videos, which are my silver brushes. And this again is a new thing from Deflecto. And I really like this because one, it has a handle for us to carry. It has different areas. So you've got um, something in here and you can pop a brush in here so that it, you know, isn't, these are nice expensive brushes. They're not gonna, you know, swell because they're left in the water. I can stand them upside down. I have a clean and a dirty water area. And then I have my brush storage area, or you could do all water, you know, you can really customize it. But I can also fit my paint mediums in here. So whether that's just a little palette or a watercolor or something like that. And the other great thing is, do you notice on the handle, it's ribbed on both sides. So you can also lay your brushes on there to keep them clean or while you're using them, those kinds of things. So um, so my third tip is to like reevaluate your storage and really kind of store like things together. This is another one of their tool chests that I have adapted. You, this is not paper crafting based, but again, it has two little compartments here in the top that I can open up and store all my little notions and things in. And then this one here, again, this one clips open and I've got another little storage area. And again, there's the uh, measuring tape on the top here, which I really, really love. And then inside, this is my absolute favorite one that they just released at Creativation because this, look how this lifts out. So this is all my English paper piecing. This is what I do for fun. And I'm in the process of creating this fun little quilt um, this is one of my little, uh, you know, um, hexagons that I'm creating. So I have it all kind of clipped and pinned while I'm working on it. But I can store all of those things in the bottom. I have all my hexagons I pre-glued in the next one and my empty paper ones. My thread is in here. My unpicker, my pencil, my glue pen for my EPP, my print sticks, my needles. And then I have this other little area at the top here and everything has little like grids in it. So it's easy to pick things up, you know, little things you can pick them up and nothing rolls around in here, but it has little dividers. So this one I've made bigger because I want my scissors in here. 
but then I can just grab these little dividers and then clip them in like that and I can create different size compartments and I just really like how it kind of opens up like this and everything's divided out so you could use this for all sorts of things Craig instantly said oh that would be a great fishing tackle box and I yeah but not really what I'm going to use it for um I saw it and I was like this is perfect for my sewing uh, so you can really use it for all sorts of different things. If you like to go to crops and things, I think it would be great as well. But also if you have a smaller craft stash, this is perfect because you could put pens and pencils in one area, paints in the next, paintbrushes, etc., And it would keep everything together or for an on-the-go craft kit. So that would be really, really um, easy to use as well. Uh, someone asked me how many paper pads. Kim said, how many paper pads do I have in here? So... This is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. I have 28 in here and I could definitely fit, you know, quite a few more. You can see I've got like a whole hand width that I could add extra in as well. So lots and lots of possibilities to add things in there too. Um, so that's a, another option. Put my lid back on clip these down and then it's ready to move on. Now, if you have a smaller space um, and things, the other thing I wanted to suggest to you, it kind of comes together with like reevaluating your storage or storing like things together are carts. Now, even though I have a craft room upstairs, which you've all seen lots of times, I still love carts. And this is one I've been putting together. It's not finished by any means, um, but this is gonna be my iron on ink cart. And they're great because I can, you know, really add anything I want into them. I have one upstairs that's my Cricut Joy cart. I have a marker cart. Um, I have this one for my iron on ink and a couple of others like storage and things like that. So uh, we can talk about those. If you are like me and you love to find the perfect storage, you can let me know. Um, and I will make sure that um, we do more storage videos for you. But this I have organized. So I have all my markers in the top in those tumblers I made recently in the lives. Um, and I have, you know, some more markers in here. I have my ink pads in the top. I have a cup with my basic craft supplies, the things that I might need. Um, and then I have all my polyester, my paper, protective rolls are in the top here. My tape is in my favorite tape dispensers in here. This is my heat tape. Um, and then this is my little Cricut Joy Core because that's what I'm using later. I have some stuff I've printed out that I want to use. And then my substrates are down here as well. So I have like my tumblers, bandanas, you know, all those kinds of things that I can iron onto. And then in the bottom, that's actually, I mean, you wouldn't need to have this, but this is my like one of everything that's perfect. I keep it in packaging and I use that for videos so it looks the best when I'm showing you demonstrations in the video. But this is really how I like to keep it. My heat gloves are up here. Um, you know, I can store my iron in here and all of those kinds of things. So carts are really great and I like to then label them with vinyl for my Cricut Joy. Um, but carts are another really, really good option that you have as well. Um, I've got some questions here. Uh, Dee Dee said exactly what she thought as well when she saw the box. Um, and Polly says, have I thought about a scrap box? I have thought about a scrap box, Polly. They are super duper expensive. Um, I would absolutely adore to have one. I think it would look amazing as a background here in the studio, filled as a rainbow. Um, but honestly, I think they're a huge amount of money and right now they're definitely not in my budget. Um, and Kim says, can I come to her house and help her room get organized? I cannot come to your house, but I am happy, Kim, to take you through all of my storage and organization. And what we could try and do, um, maybe is do like some joint Zoom kind of YouTube lives where I can show you areas in your craft room you might be struggling with and give you some tips and tricks as well. So we'll look into how easy that is to do. I know I've been working with like Ashley Chauvin on doing a joint live with her so we can go live using Zoom, but onto YouTube and Facebook. If you don't already follow Ashley, she is hilarious. Um, you can follow her at Show Me Chauvin and it's C-H-A-U-V-I-N. She is great. Um, she is an absolute pro at doing like all the tumblers and even more at sublimation. She's been doing sublimation a long time. So go follow her, join her Facebook group. It is funny. It is a little bit, um, how should I put it? Near the knuckle maybe? Or um, she does like to swear a little bit. So if you are offended by that, don't go follow her. But if you're not, and you just want to have a laugh on a Friday night, go follow her. She's great. I love Ashley so much. 
Um, and Polly says they are so worth the expense every penny. Well, I definitely have it on my wish list. Maybe someday we'll get one as well. Um, and then Betty says, what's the name of my black cart? So this cart over here is a Michaels cart. It's a recollections cart and it's their extended one. I can't remember a name off the top of my head, but if you Google storage carts on Michaels, you'll see they come in multiple colors. I also like that one because you can fit a whole Cricut Maker in there as well, which I think is really, really nice. Um, or a, you know, a big Cricut machine or a silhouette, those kinds of things. So it's also great if you're into those and then you can put your vinyl lower down and things like that. So um, thank you so much. Um, can I type the Facebook site with the girl I recommended? Yes, I will put it in the chat. I'm actually logged in as Greg, so you're gonna see it as um, Greg come up, but I'm gonna type it out for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe on our channel, of course, as well. Give us a thumbs up. All of those things really, really does help us. You don't understand how much it helps. And going to our blog as well. The more people we get over there, the more um, our design team see that. They produce some amazing projects. Go give them some love at thehedgehoghollow.com as well. So, um, Kim says, I'm amazing. The struggle is real with my room. My husband calls me a hoarder. Greg calls me a hoarder too. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Everything's fine. Um, if you saw my craft room right now, I think Greg would die. Like I haven't let him in there in a week. So it's fine, don't worry about it. They're fine. Um, as Taz says she thinks it's the Huntington. I honestly can't remember. Um, but if you go, it's a recollections car and it's the extended one. It's like two feet long. The other one's, you know, kind of smaller. So that's all of that as well. Um, Apparently Dee Dee's husband also called her that, uh, called her a hoarder the other day, so I think that's so funny. Maybe we should create a Facebook group of uh, storaging the hoard or something like that, I don't know. We'll, we'll think of a fun name and we'll try and do some crafty organization for you as well. So we'll look into the interactive part. If we are able to do something interactive so that we can include you guys and we can all uh, form it like a community live, uh, make sure you are following uh, over at thehedgehoghollow.com, sign up for our newsletter because we'll send out a request to be part of that within our newsletter. So check those uh, fever relievers every single day, check out the content. Um, I cannot thank you all enough for your support. The code HH10 over at Iron On Ink has been extended through the end of the month. So if you wanted to try out that amazing marker, you can. But I'm going to be showing you tomorrow, as I say, how to do it with your home iron too. So thank you everyone for all of your support. I hope you've enjoyed Storage Saturday. These new deflecto pieces will be out at Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, etc. very, very soon. Uh, they do have a website, Deflecto Crafts. Uh, you can go over there and check them out. I know they were kind of talking about doing pop-up shops again like they did at Creativation. Um, so go follow them as well. And we cannot thank them enough for the amazing package we got. In fact, I did get a package again the other day. I haven't um, delved into it all, but we're going to be making a craft wall for the kids. Um, I secretly kind of want it for my own craft room, but apparently it's for the kids. So uh, we'll be filling it with some fun things. So you can uh, glean some ideas off of that as well. We'll have Storage Saturday back next week. As I say, if you have any issues or you want to do something interactive, sign up for our newsletter over at thehedgehoghollow.com and we'll email out as soon as we've worked out how to do that too. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. I'll be back to you very, very soon. If there's something you want to see in a video, leave us a comment, let us know, um, because we really do want to be crafting things that you want to see and giving you some extra inspiration uh, while we're all at home. So thank you again. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you again tomorrow for ironing on ink with our home irons. I'll see you then, everyone. Bye.